I haven't done one of these videos in quite a long time. I used to do them on a regular basis, reminding candidates of how much time you have to the exam, uh, the review period, where you should be. I haven't done that for uh, quite some time. I think it's time to get back to it. And I'm going to try to make it a weekly, uh, a, a weekly video that I do on Mondays, where every week I try to uh, give you some little bit of advice on exam strategy, on study strategy uh, that can help you out. So being that this is the first time uh, back at this for some time, let's do a high-level view of the time frame we have until each of the exams. Uh, and uh, level one exams for February are writing right now, February 19th to the 25th. So best of luck to everybody writing. There's not much here that you should be listening to. If you are listening to it, stop and get back to your studying. You've got to lean into this one. <clears throat> February 15th to the 18th, level three exams. They're done. So um, for some of you, the question is now what? Some of you uh, that wrote, um, I've already got some emails, uh, saying you felt very confident that you got this one, it's done, and you feel good about it. Uh, well, you're going to have to wait six to seven weeks to confirm your hypotheses. I've also received a few emails from some saying, I don't think I made it. Uh, what should I do now? So if you feel uh, you did not pass. Uh, I don't know that jumping into the content again right away and, and, and picking up where you left off makes a lot of sense. Uh, you should spend some time in reflecting on uh, possible reasons why you feel that way. Uh, was it time? Did you not give it enough time? Uh, level three, I think that's less of a reason. Level one and level two should have really straightened you out on the amount of time that you need. So it's level one is a very common reason I, I didn't give it enough time. <clears throat> it's easy to underestimate the size of level one. You tend to do that less at level two and even less at level three. So that's probably, that's probably not the dominant reason. Your structured response strategy. Uh, the emails I did receive, um, both of them, only two, both of them pointed uh, to the structured response saying, I think I blew it on the structured response. So maybe your strategy uh, wasn't quite right. Uh, or maybe you walked in with not all the knowledge in your head. Usually time and knowledge have a very high correlation. So you might say, I put in, I put in the time. I just didn't feel I, I knew it well. Uh, and, you know, you hear the number 300 hours thrown out a lot. 300 hours is the average amount of time, and let's do a distribution for the average amount of time that the average person puts in. If uh, your cognitive ability is something less than the average, when I say average, I don't mean the population. Average, we're talking about the population of people who actually take this exam at level three. If it's a little uh, 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 lower than average, uh, the amount of time is going to be in the right tail. <clears throat> means you're going to have to put in more time. So you might say, I put in 300 hours. I just didn't feel like I had the knowledge. Uh, you may uh, be uh, more in the left tail on the ability side. Uh, and uh, that means you would have to be more in the right tail on the time side. Uh, so usually there's a very high correlation between those two. If you don't put in enough time, you're certainly not going to walk in that room uh, with the knowledge. If you walked in that room feeling you didn't have the knowledge down, it's probably because you didn't put in enough time. Uh, so spend some time just reflecting on why. You, you've got six to seven weeks to find out. Now if you're one of those that says, look, I know I, know I didn't make it. I went in knowing that I wasn't going to make it. Then, yeah, now you've got to start thinking about how you're going to line up for August. And we'll talk about August on the next screen. May exam is only level one, level two. <clears throat> Registration is now closed. So uh, those who are not registered for May simply cannot register for May. That's not your option any longer. You're looking at August or November. Uh, and those that are registered are those that are registered. That's it. The population is set for the May exam. <clears throat> level one is May 15th to the 21st. Level two is the 22nd to the 26th. So level one has 84 days to May 14th. Uh, if your exam's the 20th, you can adjust the 84 days for when in this range your exam is. But 84 days gets you to the day before the exam period starts. Less 28 for review, looking at 56 days. You should be 60 to 75% of the way through the content at this point in time with, uh, with 56 days to go. 
Uh, and if you're not, you need, you need to lean in. You need to pick it up. And I'll talk about what I mean by picking it up in a second here. Uh, May, you have 91 days, less 28 days for review, 63 days. You should be somewhere 55 to 70% through the content. If you're not, you really need to pick it up because that's not a lot of time. Uh, when I say pick up the pace, that means put in more time. That doesn't mean speed up. That doesn't mean I got two hours a day. I'm going to go even faster. <clears throat> Your brain has a speed limit. Everybody's brain has a speed limit which means if you try to learn faster than your brain will allow you to learn, you're not going to learn anything. You have to stay within your brain's cognitive speed limit. So picking up, picking up the pace means putting in more time, not speeding up what you're doing. <clears throat> you need to put in more time and you need to start doing that now. So you have to think about the structure of your life. Uh, you're going to have to sacrifice something whether it be uh, your favorite show. Listen, everything is streaming anyways, even if you give up your favorite show for the next six or seven weeks, or your favorite, I should say it right, your favorite shows, uh, plural. Even if you give them up, uh, you can pick them up again in, 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 in May after the exam is done. You can binge watch for, for, for a week after that. <clears throat> it's not as if they're time sensitive, they go away and you'll never see them again. But you got to sacrifice something. So think about the structure of your life during the week. What can you sacrifice? Because you're going to make a sacrifice, okay? If you don't sacrifice something, you're going to sacrifice performance. And then you're going to have to write the exam again. So sacrifice something now or sacrifice performance later on. Either way, you're going to make a sacrifice. I think it's better to willingly make a sacrifice on something than to have the sacrifice forced upon you. Okay, let's move over to the August exam. All three levels, one, two, and three. Early registration is over. So if you haven't registered, uh, that uh, delay in your action is now going to cost you a little bit more money. Registration closes May 14th. That's in 84 days. Here are the exam dates. Level one, August 20th to the 26th, followed by level two from the 27 to 31, and level three usually uh, is uh, at the very end, but look at this, you jumped it all the way to before level one. And I think that's just because it takes more time to grade, that by the time you get the level one results, the week after you get the level two results, it's sometimes a week to two weeks after before you get level three, but if you move the dates before level one, you can release level one, two, and three, hopefully uh, within the same one week span. you got plenty of time here. That doesn't mean that you, you don't have time uh, uh, to spare, you, you, or sorry, that you, you have time to spare. You don't have time to spare, but you have plenty of study time here. 182 days less 28 for review leaves 154 days uh, for level one. Uh, 22 weeks, there are 10 topics. That's uh, a little over two weeks per topic. Uh, so if you uh, have looked at the content, you'll see that, uh, you know, quant is uh, a long walk. FRA is a really long walk. Some Sections are shorter, some are really long. FRA would be tough to do within two weeks to get through all of it. But on average, 2.2 weeks per topic, that's not a lot of time. If you think about it, that's, that's really not a lot of time. Level 2, 189 days, less 28 for review. You've got 161, 23 weeks, uh, 2.3 weeks per topic. And <clears throat> uh, level 2 is known as the more difficult level. Uh, level 1, if I had to put the words out, level 1 is big. Uh, level two is difficult. Level three is applied. Uh, so it's 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 not so much uh, uh, quantitatively driven. <clears throat> level two is a, a valuation level. So it's not the same as comparing it with level one, saying well, 2.2 weeks per topic at level one, 2.3 at level two. That's about the same. Level two is cognitively more challenging. So I would say that with 2.3 weeks, that's not a lot of time for each. For each section, that's if you start now, that's it's it's good. But the more you delay, the harder that's going to get. Quant is cognitively challenging. Derivatives, fixed income, economics, a couple of readings in portfolio management. It's not an easy walk. Okay, just and if, especially if you're not quantitatively inclined, you're going to want to give yourself more time. Level 3, 178 days. I put 35 for review because the structured response, you really should spend some time uh, on mock exams with structured response, practicing those uh, on our site. I think we have uh, seven of these 
Uh, and then we do live sessions. If you have a subscription on our site, you just attend the live sessions. And we go through every question. We go through the keywords. We go through how to answer them. And it's, I repeat the strategy a lot. Uh, and there's, you know, three or four big strategies you need for the SR questions. But it's, it's, it's practicing saying things short, even though you know more. You think, I, I, can, I can say more, though, to really prove that I know it. Listen, you know, one or two bullet points is the proof. Anything more than that, you're showing off and it's not worth anything and you're wasting time, right? So you really should spend more time reviewing. That leaves 143 days or 20 weeks, 3.3 weeks per volume. Level 3 doesn't break down in nice topics like Level 1 and Level 2. So I say per volume because there are six books really that make up uh, the, the curriculum. Uh, and each book has one to two, one to two uh, topics, one, one and a half, two topics within it. So it is comparable uh, per topic to 2.2 or 2.3 weeks. Um, and it's more applied. So if you found a lot of the stuff really abstract, that like you've never really worked with derivatives, uh, you, you've never really worked with bonds or fixed income, and when it comes to building portfolios and applying it, if it's still abstract in your head, the application seems rather foreign to you. So you're trying to memorize your way through those and you have to intuitively see your way through. It's difficult, difficult, I'd say near impossible to memorize your way through an applied level uh, because you do have to intuitively see how these things, uh, how these things operate. So you want to give it a little bit more time to reflect on it and think about it. If if you get to level three and you say, ah, you know what, the bonds derivatives still kind of abstract in my mind. I don't quite see it because maybe you've never worked with it. So you're going to want to give yourself some time there. This, I think, is 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 the right amount of time if you start now. Um, I I think you should have already started. You should be somewhere ten to twenty percent uh, through. Um, and you're looking at two, three hours a day. <clears throat> if you start now and you're putting in two, three hours a day, level one, you'd be 308 to 462 hours. Remember, the average person with the average ability is reporting 300 hours, right? Um, two to three hours a day at level two, you're 322 to 483 hours in there. That's, that's, these are a good amount of time. This is, uh, I'd say, if again, if it's abstract for you, you'd want to lean more towards the three hours, but still, uh, you're, you're within the range of where you should be there if you start now. Um, it sounds like a long time away. <clears throat> it's only February. This is in August. But once you back out the review, once you account for the size of the content that you have to do, once you account for the fact that this is self-study and you have to have self-discipline, which some people need structure. They need structure in their lives to stay on track. You, you have to create your own structure and stick with it. There are going to be days where you don't want to do it and maybe you won't. <clears throat> That's only going to make it more difficult because if you have 2.3 weeks per topic, you got 17 days per topic on average. And if you're giving up three of those 17 days, now you have 14 days. So it sounds like a lot of time, but when you work backwards of what you need to put in and when you consider how important is this to you, um, I don't know how you can say, well, I got lots of time. You really, really have to start now. And this is, think about this, this is two to three hours a day, seven days a week. You might say, I don't have that kind of time. Well, you're going to have to find that kind of time. The more time you give yourself, the better the, 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 the chances are that you're going to be successful. The less time you give yourself, the higher the probability that you will simply write the exam again. And guess what? You'll have more time. So you may as well just take the more time now, right? Okay, let's look at November, level one and level two. Early registration, April 16th. So here, you will save some money. You got uh, 56 days to decide that's what you wanna do. If you want to save the money, registration closes August 7th. You got lots of time uh, to register for this one. Uh, registration for November opened as of February 8th. Uh, for level one, 266 days. Mine's 28 of review, 238 days, 34 weeks, 3.4 weeks per topic. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice breathing room, right? Uh, level 2, November 20th to 24, you got a little bit more time, so that gives you 245 days after adjusting for review. 35 weeks, 3.5 weeks per topic, yeah. 
That's a comfortable amount of space. Uh, that also leaves a lot of time for life to happen because life shows up and life has a tendency to show up when you least want it to show up. You got something to get done and life shows up. You know, somebody gets sick. You have to travel to another city. A relationship breaks apart and you're emotionally distraught for a period of time that you just can't focus on anything. Uh, or in my case, a pet dies. Uh, your, your best friend for 10 years, 12 years is now gone. You got to adjust to that. Life happens. Life shows up. I see people planning sometimes and here's my plan. It's like, well, where, where's life? Where, where did you leave room for life to show up? Because I guarantee you, life is going to show up. It always does. And the more obligations you have, the more likely life is to show up. This gives you time for life to show up. This is nice. Begin now. It's, again, it sounds like a long time away. But life is going to grab a hold of you at some point in time. And it's going to take away the hours that you need. This is a nice, comfortable, uh, a nice, comfortable amount of time. Um, so that's the, the theme of, of, of this week. Next week, I'll go into a, a little bit more uh, of strategy. And maybe each week, what I'll do is maybe I'll pick a topic that is difficult uh, and um, sort of just answer one big question around the topic. There's a level one, level two, level three. There's usually some difficult spots. And maybe what I'll do is I'll throw some of that in there. Uh, MarkMeldrum.com. If you go there, you can find subscriptions for level one, two, and three for 2024. Level one's 369 uh, for the whole level. Or if you only need help with a few sections, you may say, hey, look, I got most of level one, uh, but this fixed income thing I'm not getting, or FRA, I'm not getting $37 for one, one whole section. Level two, 399 or 40 uh, per section. And level three is 439 or 74 per volume because level three doesn't break down in sections very nicely, as I said earlier. So we just break it down into six different volumes, so 74 per volume. Uh, you can also add the applied level for another 320, uh, which is the uh, level one plus, the level two plus, or the level three plus. So you would just add 320 onto this. You'll see uh, when you look at our, uh, there's the sections, you'll see level one. And then over here on our pricing grid, that is level one plus. You get the applied level uh, in there, uh, which when you buy the applied level with your CFA subscription, whether it's level one, two, or three, the implied cost is 320. Uh, the applied level on its own is 440 as a standalone subscription. So uh, for CFA candidates, you do get a $100 reduction on the price of the applied level when you combine it with one of the uh, CFA subscriptions. Um, there is no expiration on this which means if you buy level one plus, uh, you don't have to buy level two plus or level three plus, you just buy level two and level three. You only pay for an applied level once, no matter where you buy it. And once you're done the exam, you still have access to the applied level. Uh, the uh, content for level one, level two, level three does expire. Uh, I think a little bit after the exam it expires and then it's archived for you to refer to uh, at another level, but the applied level doesn't archive, it doesn't expire, you have it all the way through. Um, what I find really, uh, uh, um, I, my idea is, you know, I think that everyone at level one, I, I think we should just have a package that you have to get the applied level. Because in the applied level, uh, especially the sector studies, understanding banking, understanding the, the Fed balance sheet, uh, understanding uh, REITs, understanding mining, understanding semiconductors, understanding utilities. As you go through the three levels uh, on your way to the applied level, which is level three, uh, if you're uh, going along with the applied level videos uh, from uh, this series here, it will start to, to bring the abstract into the concrete. That by the time you get to level three, you know so much about different industries and different companies uh, that you'll you'll be you'll have a far more applied mind at level three, and there we go. I will uh, put another one up next Monday, and we'll see if I can't. Uh, we'll see. I'll see. <laughs> we'll like it's a team effort here. I'll see if I can't uh, keep this up on a weekly basis. I think I can. Uh, I, you know, I might just run out of things to say and say, look, I got nothing new to say this week. But I'll come. I'll try to come up with something. So. Let's just say that we're going to have a weekly 
uh, a weekly series on CFA strategy, on study strategy, on learning strategy. And uh, depending on how much latitude I have, maybe I can answer one difficult question a week. So under this video, if you have a difficult question, not in, if it's something you can look up, look it up, right? Look it up. But if you have a difficult question where there's some concept where you go, this makes absolutely no sense to me, go ahead and put it in the comments section. And next week, I'll pick one of, one of those uh, and answer it. And then you can, you know, whichever one you think is the most difficult, you can click on the like button beside the comment. And the one with the most likes, I'll, uh, I'll try to answer that. And we'll uh, keep this going every week. Okay, ciao.